the way, my darling. Ladies and gentlemen, the first competitor. Oh, yeah, he loves this pain medal. Jeez. Oh, Jerry, bugger. He's got to be fair on the mare. Fair on the mare? Yeah. No, that's not fair. He's gone grey. <laughs> you happy there? You don't comment on the hair on the mare. <laughs> Even if it's not there. <laughs> if, if, before we go any further, you're the, you're the judge. Yes. You look absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can pick a politician at 50 faces, can't you? Give him a huge round of applause for me. Before I start, I've got to congratulate the organisers and this was a part of the um, program last year that was sensational. It was uh, Matthew from uh, Dubbo, who's, who's uh, yeah, a very good friend, and uh, we actually get on very well together. Uh, we've now got an intruder, which is uh, Gary Rush from uh, Bathurst. Uh, I was going to meet the RSPCA, because uh, he's got one of those Santa Claus um, uniforms on with the fox heads. Uh, we all have one, but we don't bring them out very often, but it's great to see Gary here tonight. And it's all a bit of fun. Um, I, was, I was certainly distressed if any of you want to um, scare somebody um, about this um, poetry uh, gig. When you said you can't read off a piece of paper, that sort of <coughs> basically um, made it very difficult. Um, very difficult. This is the second poem in my life that I've said. Now, it's been, this was specially made, so uh, I really don't want to stuff it up for the person that wrote it. Now, the city of Dubbo has the Western Plain Zoo and Bathurst a V8 race. But up here in Orange, we have it all, and this rhyme will make our case. We're Australia's colour city with four gorgeous seasons, and one of them is cold. Orange has plenty of history, from Blackman, Oxley and Mitchell, and the fine of payable gold. In the 1980s, we were Australia's big apple, we were the answer to New York. We grew more fruit than Tasmania, <coughs> but we saw no need to squawk. Back in the 1960s, 65 to be exact, the Orange Festival Arts began, and it was a new era, and that's a fact. There was music and theatre and lots of swanky visual art. There was circus and dancing, and the place was very smart. Then there was the 30s and 40s, time of hard work and simple pleasure, when men rolled sleeves and got dirty, a time when poetry was leisure. This was the heyday of farming, when hard work could make a buck. This was the time of the family farm, and many tried their luck. Further back to Federation, 115 years ago, a young chap was born in Orange, very different to Banjo. He was born in William Street, East Orange, down from the five ways in Band Hall. His name was Kenneth Slesser, and he definitely heard the call. He wrote as a journalist, it was his work. For newspapers he wrote the news. His writing was good, it wasn't a work. He wrote for the country, he paid his dues. As war correspondent, he seen it all. With rats at Trabuk, he saw men fall. He wrote of beaches, he wrote of burials, some melancholy words, he still stands tall. Banjo is a star of our humble fest, but I hope this city goes to show that beautiful orange has the best. We all have it all with a touch of snow. We have a mountain, we have a lake, but you know what it is that makes the place? It's those people who call it home. It's our community. I end my case. Thank you. And in case you're wondering why I am dressed like this, because Matthew and John told me I had to dress up. <laughs>
just a suggestion to the judges, you know, we're high tech in Bathurst, we're advanced, but we're <laughs> we embrace change, technology, this is not the poem by the way. <laughs> so uh, my poem this evening, uh, ably assisted by uh, these two people here, as I might add, uh, is We Are Bathurstian. I am Windradine, a warrior, leader of the Wiradjuri tribe. I spent time hunting animals, I believe in the dream time. I stood on the riverbank, I watched white settlers come. For 40,000 years, my tribe has been the first at first ends. We are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come. We share our dreams, and we say with one voice, we are that first end. I am Lachlan Macquarie, Governor of New South Wales. I sent Blacksland, Wentworth and Mawson over Blue Mountains rugged trails. I then appointed Surveyor Evans and William Cox to build a road. I proclaimed the settlement of Bathurst on May the 7th, 1815. Macquarie River is named after me and I am Bathurstian. We are one but we are many and from all the lands on earth we come we share our dreams and say with one voice, we are Bathurstians. I am Mayor Martin Griffith, Mayor of Bathurst, 1931 to 1941. Local station master, I proposed the idea of a tourist drive and turned this into a motor racing track. Bringing income and tourism to the town, now the premier motor racing circuit in the Southern Hemisphere home to the largest regional sporting event in Australia. That is Mount Panorama, and I am Bathurstian. We are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come. We share our dreams and say with one voice, we are Bathurstians. I am Ben Chifley, an Australian Prime Minister. I was born and raised in Bathurst, lived in a quaint cottage in Busby Street. A local villager worked on the railway, I was an engine driver. I became interested in politics. I joined the ALP. I once went to school here. My old home is now a museum, and I am a Bathurstian. We are one, but we are many, and from all, from all the lands on earth we come. We share our dreams and say with one voice, we are Bathurstians. I am Mark Renshaw, riding for Bathurst Cycle Club, a state and national champion. Then I won the Track World Cup. I have been to the Olympics, made my Tour de France debut. A local, a resident, now a champion, and I am Bathurstian. We are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come. We share our dreams, and say with one voice, we are Bathurstians. I am Brian Booth, Australian cricket captain, raised in Perthville. I am Tony Turnbull, drove Honda Grattan to victory from the lagoon. We are Peter Brock and Alan Moffat, racing legends and honorary Bathurst citizens. We are kings of the mountain. I am Bathurst sporting stars, Archie Thompson, Peter O'Malley and Marty Roebuck, Australian soccer, golf and rugby union champions. <laughs> and we are Bathurstian. We are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come. We share our dreams and say with one voice, I am the Mayor of Bathurst, I am a Bathurstian, and you could be too. Thank you for looking a wee bit casual now, Matthew. <laughs> Do you want to quickly run off and, you know, send him off and give a scarf or something else? All the way down from Dubbo, uh, not at all that he's been in the news of late. Oh, have you missed this? <laughs> oh, he's been in the Sydney Morning Herald a few times in the last couple. Did you not know that? Oh, lucky I cut them out. <laughs> <laughs> Please make him very, very welcome, Mr. Matthew Dickerson. Oh, my <laughs> Thank you. And I, I, I do apologise. We don't have the same budget in Dubbo as Orange and Bathurst, so we can't afford chains and dresses and all sorts of fancy things. And I particularly liked Gary claiming Peter Brock as a Bathurstian because he's an honorary citizen, so that's stretching the relationship, I thought, a bit, Gary. But anyway, that's great. 
So the little poem I've got for you tonight, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background to it. Because last year, as John said, we both did a poem, and so I, I've written a poem about Dubbo specifically. So I did that poem last year, and I didn't want to do the same one again, obviously. And I put everything that was great about Dubbo in that poem, so I, I couldn't write another poem. And again, that's our budget. You know, I'm going to write my own poems. These guys have got to write this for them. So, you know, it, 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 there's a, a tin outside. You can just chuck some gold coins in for Dubbo if you like afterwards. So. But so what I did, and I'm just a quick bit of context. I was at a, a conference just at the end of 2014, and we actually won a conference called Artland, which is an arts conference, and they do it every two years around the nation, and it's New South Wales in turn, so Dubbo won the rights to host that. And that was a big secret, and I went over to Kalgoorlie to actually announce that Dubbo had won that particular conference. And it, it was, when I say it was a big secret, there were a number of stands out there, and there was a Dubbo stand that stuck out a little bit of the thing. Why is a Dubbo stand here? And a few people two and two together and worked out that maybe Dubbo had won their bid. But I learned a bit about Kalgoorlie and that conference when I was there. I learned about Skimpy Bars in Kalgoorlie. When I said to everyone, what's the most important thing to see in Kalgoorlie? They said Skimpy Bars. And I, I didn't know what they were, but when I went in, I kind of you know, got a face on and realised what a Skimpy Bar was. The other thing that was quite interesting there was it was an arts conference, so it was all about arts, and I learned a new word, sesquipedalian, meaning that you use big words for the sake of using big words, which I think was a bit of a go at the arts community. So this poem was one that I did at that conference, which effectively was inviting everyone from Kalgoorlie to come to Dubbo at the end of this year for Art Man's the conference. So effectively, I'm going to do the same to you. I'll be inviting you to Dubbo. And what I did with that was talk about the region and a little bit more than just Dubbo. So it's called from Kalgoorlie to Dubbo. Dubbo will host the next summit, the worst kept secret in the world of arts. Now, let me tell you about my city so I can win your minds and hearts. Our history starts with Aboriginals living in Radri Nation. Then in 1828, the pioneer Dalhunty started Dubbo Station. Things moved slowly, as you'd expect, till a Frenchman opened a cellar door, which started a retail boom with a miller and a general store. Retail is still our core, but there are other places I can recommend. First on the hit list is the old Dubbo jail where eight men were condemned. Our open range zoo is known across the world for animal conservation, but keep an eye on those tigers as they don't know the lines of demarcation. We have an emerging art scene with our cultural centre quite well known. Where you'll see a conjugation of random and order in the postmodern zone. Now, being sesquipedalian is required in the world of art. It just seemed vaguely important if I want you to think that I'm smart. Some question the council's outlay on arts and just want to pay lower rates. But when skimpy bars are referred to as art, it usually stops the debates. <laughs> Once you land in Dubbo, you'll see an entire region of delights. You can start in the Wellington Caves. Are they stalactites or stalagmites? The Wright Brothers fire waits in narrow mind to be lifted on the breeze. Some say the highlight is Gilgandra, famous for the march of the Cooeys. Coo Animals on bikes is classic paddock art that is constantly expanding. Parks as the dish, perhaps more famous for the movie than the moon landing. You can learn more about the moon and planets from the solar system drive and visit the Macquarie Marshes where water birds live and thrive. Then you can take a trip to Orange to experience their food and wine. That's when you cheer, the orange crowd. <laughs> I'm going to do ground one to the orange crowd there. <laughs> a hot lap awaits at Mount Panorama. Just obey every speed sign. There is so much to see in our region. Please stay at least an extra day. You'll have time to smile in Dubbo, or you shop and drink at a cafe, where you'll find we focus on service and friendliness is not obsolete. Be sure to tell all your friends and use the Artlands hashtag when you tweet. So, the funding submissions are approved and the partner logos all seen. From Arts and Edges in Cal, I invite you to Artlands 2016. Yeah. Now, 
you've got to realise this, this is, we take this terribly, terribly seriously. We judge all over Australia and, um, and I think that they've put a great deal of work into analysing these poems. Off you go. <coughs> right, yeah, it was a very difficult decision. It was a very difficult, very, very decision time. So tonight I think we should start with John Davis, who was our first competitor up from Orange. And Robin, do you have any comments about um, John's poems? Uh, yes. Uh, John, I thought that um, I've actually taken marks off because if that's only the second poem you've read in your life, really, for the Mayor of Orange, I think we should be a little bit more familiar with poetry. <laughs> I have given you extra marks because you've claimed Kenneth Slesser too, and so that's two poems. So, two poets, so I thought that was good. Um, I, I took marks off. You can, Comparing Orange to the Big Apple, I thought was just a little bit of hyperbole in there. Just a little bit too. Not that push poets ever tell lies. No, no, no. <laughs> or exaggerate. No, no, no. But, uh, but I did give you, I gave you an extra 19 points for heart because at the end of the poem was a real tug at the heart streak. So. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I thought your poem was absolutely wonderful. I've given you a good amount of points for your poem, but I've actually given more points to the bloke who wrote it. <laughs> than I've given to you, so I'll talk to him later on. We've given you an extra 97 points because you represent a town where Banjo Patterson was born. So. <laughs> and we've taken off some points because no one's actually given us an orange since we've been in a year in orange. We've been here a bit, and all we've been offered is baskets full of apples. No oranges. So, so they go with our small keepers are down the back and they're diligently they're diligently adding up as we summarise this. So moving on to Gary Rush from Bathurst. Okay, well I gave Gary I gave him an extra ten points for for his mayoral dress. I thought it was very, very nice. However, I did take off another nine points for being gullible. You would believe the mayors of the other two towns who told you that you need to frock up. And I've given, I've given Gary 78 points for finding a loophole and using his iPad to read his work. Yes, we like the fact that Bathurst is very nice and modern um, with good ending. Um, oh, there was a good ending there, yes. Oh, I took, um, I took five marks up. Some of your pre-poem comments, which are, they were just crawling to the judges. There is a line. We accept bribes, but crawling by itself doesn't come to us. Yeah, and we had to take 101 points off you because although he did offer us a bribe, bribe was only 50 cents. <laughs> I really liked the uh, the sign language and the the, um, the dance and the drama and the Visual aids. Visual aids. We, we don't know the names of those wonderful people. No. No. And so we probably need to take marks off for having no, servants who we don't know. Do you oh, think no. they should have worn name tags? I think they probably should have. They should have those little lariats around there. Okay, we've just taken off an extra 10 points because yes. they were <laughs> Now, Matthew Dickerson from Dubbo. He's uh, got an extra a couple of points because his son actually recites poetry as well. We his son does recite very good poetry. poetry. Yes. We've given him uh, a, a few extra points because the wonderful Rob Stevens and the late Alice Campbell come from Dubbo and they are two of Australia's great good poets. <laughs> I've taken some marks off. The rebuttals at the beginning, you make it sound like a debate, you make it sound like a council meeting. <laughs> this is meant to be poetry, it's meant to be fun. Um, Oh, I, but I gave you extra marks with the Lions of Conservation. What a wonderful line. So well done for that one. And I presume that, was that an original line? Yes. yes. Well done. Well, that, that's good. And I gave you extra points for the tweet and the hashtag. That's modern and technologically savvy. Yes, no, that's very And I've taken points off it because I've heard they're starting a new enclosure at the Dumbo Zoo. It's a special blind enclosure and you can go through in your cars and everything. And they took me especially to see it and they put a sign up out the front and it says, Lions enclosure, people in cars, $50, bush poets on bush bikes, free. <laughs> I took points off him for that. 
There was one lion called Wallace. There was one lion called Wallace. And moving on to our to our uh, unexpected uh, Bruce Mitchell, we've given you points for the audacity and sheer front to turn up and challenge your local mayors <laughs> with a prepared poem. But we've taken off all of those points because you didn't have backup dancers or mayor or robots. <laughs> I'd like to just play in there's obviously a bit of local um, uh, friction there about whether it's called Lucknow or Lucknow and Di who owns half of Lucknow calls it Lucknow so I think you need you call it Lucknow. Well I don't know yourself. So she called it opposite to you so I took a few marks off of that. Right yeah so <laughs> Tie between Dubbo, Bathurst, and Orange. 